Hello everyone, and welcome to another Ark Mumble tutorial. Today we're going to craft from the beer barrel, but first I wanted to show the really nice war drums I crafted earlier. So for today's tutorial, we'll be crafting the beer barrel on, a, on our mobile smithy, which is our beaver. And then later we'll be going over how to irrigate it and then how to even um, how to craft the beer jars. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe before the video starts. Anyways, let's get started. To craft the beer barrel, if you go up to your mobile smithy or up to your normal smithy, you can unlock the engram for it for, let's see what level. Kind of learn how to spell it right though. At level 36, you can craft the beer barrel. And if you go up to your if you go, if you go up to your mobile smithy or your normal smithy, you can craft it for 500 wood, 80 metal, and 100 cementing paste. As you can see, we already crafted one of inventory. I'll be crafting a second one for the tutorial. Okay, so with both our beer with both of our beer barrels crafted, let's head over inside our base. Now look, I ended up moving around a little bit of my stuff. I moved the chests over here, and I'll be placing the beer barrels close to the entrance for convenience. So if we place one right here in the world, you can see the how like um, where it shows up as red, you cannot place it, and showing it up as green is where you can place it. So let's go ahead and place one for now, right about here in the middle of this foundation. Okay, seem to place correctly. So as you can see, we'll need to have irrigation for that, and. I'll be right back. I'm going to speed up how to set the irrigation for it since overall hooking up all the stone irrigation pipes do take an awfully long time. Okay, so we're back. We ended up crafting a few of our irrigation items needed. I crafted one stone irrigation pipe that's straight, two that are vertical, two that are intersection, and we have ten that are inclined. Although. Most of those I had for spare, so I don't think we'll be needing 10 of those. So as you can see, we can place our vertical one right on top of the beer barrel right here. And it goes ab like absolutely straight up, so we don't want to place it too high up. We're going to use one of the intersection pipes like next. Okay, super useful. I got those set up. I place the two of them side by side since I'll be setting up um, the water cool like the water stuff right behind it. Overall, I wanted to have it slightly above my foundation so I could actually walk by this area. My original irrigation setup earlier was all over the ground and it made it hard for dinosaurs to navigate behind my base. So let's see, going back, we can also place our second one by having another vertical pipe going down right here. Though this is kind of bugging out. Let me just place the beer barrel first. Okay, it does not want to place it too- like, doesn't want to snap onto it. We'll place the vertical one first then. I do not know where it went, but it went somewhere. Let's see, where did it go? That's one way it can be placed. <laughs> Let's go back into our base. Okay, hopefully this time it'll place properly. There it is. And we should be able to hook up the second beer barrel up to it properly. Okay. Yeah, it snaps on properly, so it should be working right now. The like the vertical stone pipe is a little bit off, but it did snap on immediately, so I assume it will be working when we set up our, the rest of our irrigation. So we currently have one water reservoir set up. I, I will be crafting more a little bit later, but for the sake of the video, I'm craft, I only have one available right now. Let's go ahead and place that in our world. And they should be able to snap on. Oops, saw, saw it snap on for a second there. Oh, it's so buggy. Slowly. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's how you hook up your water up to it. Overall, the closest body of water is extremely far from my base, and the stone pipes constantly get destroyed. So I'll be waiting for when it starts raining to fill up the water tanks. So we'll catch you back when it starts raining in the game. Okay, so we're back. I set up a bunch of water irrigation with, um, I believe, six water tanks, which totaled to 1,200 water. And I did wait for it to rain, so now the, all that's all gathered up. Going into our base, though, for some reason, even though I tried setting up the irrigation correctly, it did not actually irrigate properly with, with the vertical stone water pipes. So the beer barrel does have the, uh, little, the little icon above it saying that it's not irrigated, but I did end up adding into it the... Um, I tossed in about 
five or six water jars worth of water into each one. So I did, I did manually fill it up to 1,000 water each. As you can see the one on the left, I already it's already starting to cook. I added in 100 berries and 100 thatch. You do not need that much for in order to actually craft it. You only need 40 thatch and 50 of any berries in order to actually start fermenting the beer. So going into the other into the other beer barrel, I haven't filled this one up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a different kind of berry. So let's see, I'll toss in 99, 99 measure berries. It's a little bit more than we need, but it'll be okay. And then we'll toss in 100 thatch just for good measure. So as you can see when you exit the menu, it brings up the um, little part of the UI on top of the screen saying cooking and then 59 minutes remaining. On normal base settings, this would normally take 6 hours, but due to Arc Mobile, it'll only take 1 hour, so it's pretty useful. Anyways, we'll cut back to about an hour from now when this finally ferments and we can actually try and drink one. Okay everyone, we're back. We waited for our beer barrel to ferment and now we have 12 of the beer liquid. Now if you click and drag or double tap on the water jar, you can bring it into the beer barrel and it should automatically fill up to create one of these beer jars. Of course for me, the server has been lagging a bunch so it hasn't been doing that properly. Don't know why, but whenever I try to feed it the beer barrel juice, it just doesn't do it anymore. But thank goodness prior to this video, I made three in advance. So like while we still can, let's go ahead and drink it. So consuming one beer jar will give you a um, it'll give you a buff to resistance. It did not let us drink it. There it goes. It'll give you a buff to resistance. It will lower your stamina. It will re um, it will give you a little bit of water resistance as well. So I don't believe that it actually gives you any water though. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Um, re it, re it reduces the water consumption, not the actual amount of water you have in your player. So you can see in the top right it says, you are drunk, which if you cannot tell by the effects on screen, you are. Now if you go up into your inventory, swipe over to get, oops, I'm in, the, I'm in the beaver's inventory. If you swipe over to go to your player, click on buffs and you can see you are drunk. Now this effect will be lasting about one minute and 30 seconds since when I continued this. And at the conclusion of that, you'll be able to see that you'll be hung over afterwards, which is an extended period where you will not be able to gain any stamina. The beer jars are used to tame the Caltheratherium, which we'll be doing in a future video. But for now, I hope everyone enjoys the effect of your character being drunk. Yeah, it is very difficult, you cannot jump anymore without the stamina. The characters constantly like, try and talk in the background. And as overall, it is a fun effect. It is great for like for role playing, parties, etc. I wouldn't do this like very, very constantly in Arc Mobile. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial on how to use the beer barrel as well as how to craft beer in Arc Mobile. If you did, be, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Arc Mobile content. Anyways, I hope everyone has a great day, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.